Hello everyone, I'm Bill with Engine Apparatus and on today's vehicle showcase I am again coming on location. You can see we have our building production behind us. It's coming along very nicely, hoping to be in by uh, August of this year. Um, on today's vehicle showcase I have Patagonia Fire Department. Uh, they were sold by Joe Wren and Glick, Glick Fire Apparatus. Uh, we'll come to the front of this brush truck and I'll, I'll show you around. We'll start with the front. We have the Summit Series. 30 inch red white. This is also uh, emergency lighting and flood lighting for front scene lights. We have five V's on the front of the bumper. We have fog lights that are also flashing as part of your white warning. We stopped doing the headlight flashers because of the yellow headlights on the Fords. It doesn't look right. So we flashed the fog lights now so you have white flashing. Looks a little better. We have uh, T ions. Two T ions on the side of the bumper there, just to give a little better uh, better warning. And I didn't mention this in the beginning, but this is a uh, buck stop bumper. It's the buck stop, same one we use for super singles, but this one is designed for non-lifted vehicles. We have provisions for for winch hookups on the front. For they can have a uh, a removable winch. They can be portable. They can go front or rear with it. And we'll come around to the side of the vehicle, and we'll keep going. Uh, we have a 5V on the front fender, and we have our graphics package by Market Graphics. You'll notice the uh, Maltese cross looks a little empty. They have their own little private seal they're going to put on once they get the vehicle back home. We have uh, running boards with four T ions on the sides. Uh, these are our custom Vengeant running boards made in-house by our fabrication team. And something a little different that this customer wanted was we have our our light bar, our Liberty 2, Liberty 2 light bar, is actually mounted on the headache rack instead of on the uh, on the roof of the cab. They didn't want any holes in the roof of the cab, so all of our antennas and everything is on the headache rack for this truck. Come around to the side, we have pole lights by Whelan. And we have custom fabricated boxes made in-house by our fabrication team. We have also have tool mounting on the insides of these that we did all we did in-house. In the bed rails, our patented bed rail, we have our strip lights. They're recessed in, so they're protected. No matter what you're doing, they have the protection of, of the recess of the light. So if you're off-road and you hit a stick or you're kicking up some debris or something, nothing's gonna hit that and damage that. We'll come around to the back of the of the truck. You'll see a DNS hose cover uh, from from DNS. They're right down the street from us. They're very good friends of ours. We have a Darley skid unit with the the flurry foam system from from Darley. It's a 220 gallon water tank with uh, 10 gallons of foam. We did a little something a little different here. Is we have the rakes right here and we just put them right in the pockets of the skid unit and behind that is all their their broom handles and such so it's just a little way to use room we already had to to help out the customer we have a roscoe backup camera right here which is recessed into the the bed rail and you can see uh the normal dot lighting plus more strip lights in the rear of the truck I have a Hane hose rail here with three quarter inch hard cloth. So it's the newer cloth hose has been a, a big hit with the customers here as of late. We have their, their mud flaps, which we cut out in the water jet. And it says Patagonia Volunteer Fire Department for them. Just a little, uh, little thing to help the customer have ownership of the vehicle, help them like it a little bit more. In these compartments, you'll notice these are a little bit bigger. These are how, how the customer wanted everything to lay out. So we have more tool mounting, and here we have their portable winch. It's 10,000 pound worn winch right here. We also have underbody boxes. So they can store whatever they would like on the inside of the underbody boxes. And come on inside the inside of the cab, and we'll go over the, the console and everything going on inside. All right, now we're inside the truck here and I'll show you our custom console made by our, our Just Box It team. Here we have our Whalen 
core controller. We have all of our scene lights, our fog lights, our ground light controls, siren controls. And we have train horns on this. This has Grover train horns, so you get real, uh, real fire truck sounds out of the brush truck. And then of course our, our normal siren tones here. Uh, right here is your light control. So you have your three sections like we always do. You have your first one, which will just give you a rear warning. Your second one will give you all your reds with no whites. Then your third will give you your whites while you're in drive. So have the park kill that kills all your white lights in park. Um, if you notice here, none of the microphones are mounted yet. We'll go over the microphone mounting in our final inspection with the customer. and We'll put magnet mics all over however they want to lay it out. So just one more thing we do for our customers to, to make sure everything is laid out the way they want to. Here we have two customer radios uh, installed with antennas on the headache rack like I mentioned. We have two USB ports and two cigarette lighters for any type of, of power solution they would need. We have the customer radio right here, which is they wanted it mounted facing the officer like this. So this is always charging whether drugs plugged in, plugged in or running. We have two cup holders. Everyone loves their cup holders in the new fire apparatus. So we always make sure we add cup holders in. Then in the very back, we have flashlights, which are always charging and ready to go. So when you get on scene of a call, you're, you're ready to go. Um, we'll go outside and we'll end this video. Yep. All right. Thank you for watching this vehicle showcase. Be sure to follow all of our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You can be sure to see all of our updates on our new building. So you can see we're moving along nicely. Hoping to be in, in the next three months, be in our new building, which will be a, a huge deal. We'll have a big party for it and everything. Uh, like to thank you for watching the video on this uh, truck. I'd like to thank uh, Patagonia Fire Department for trusting us to build their new fire apparatus for them. I'd like to thank Glick Fire Apparatus for being the dealer for this. And the awesome dealer we had with Glick is Joe Wren. He did an amazing job with this as always. This is the, the second of many trucks, third of many trucks that he has sold. So thank you and have a great day.